Hi, my name is David Brown and I'm an applications engineer with Hawk Ridge Systems and in this video I'm going to talk about layout sketches and what I have here basically is is a, a small mock-up of a conveyor belt and some benches and machines and this would simulate uh, a shop environment and what I'm going to do is the way I laid this out is I actually used an assembly layout sketch and I'm going to show you how to how to set that up. I'm going to make this visible right now. So if you notice, I have some sketch entities in here and I'm going to double click on this and when I do that it opens up my layout sketch. So if you notice my confirmation corner there's a little uh, type of engineering ruler type icon that, that uh, represents that layout sketch and basically if you notice there's a lot of dimensions there's some simple lines and arcs and curves and things in here but mainly I want to draw your attention to the overall dimensions and things like that uh, let's focus in on this bench right here and if you notice my layout sketch contains the lines for the, the way the conveyor belt system runs and it also contains some lines that locate uh, different machines and this bench. So if I actually wanted to move this bench, I can change it just by double clicking on that and hitting my rebuild icon. And if you notice, the location of that bench changes. So basically what I've done is I've, I've created this layout sketch with some lines and different things like that. And then I, I inserted my components into this and mated those components to that layout sketch. So that being said, what I can do with this is I can actually use this layout sketch to control how this layout works. And I'm going to go over and switch over to uh, the layout only configuration. So if you notice, uh, all I have here is some basic lines and sketch points and so forth. If I double click on this again, now you can see this a little bit better. But basically, using my design intent and how I wanted to control this, I had to put a little bit of forethought into this. But I, I laid this out and dimensioned this so that I can change this any way that I, that I want to. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to lay out or how to, how to use a layout sketch in an assembly. So I'm going to go over here and, and basically when you use a layout sketch it's it's done in an assembly and, and in some cases layout sketches are used to uh, create top-down uh, assembly modeling and in this instance I'm using a layout sketch to basically uh, design my shop. So all my components are already created uh, with the exception of the conveyor belt actually. Um, I use that, uh, this layout sketch, once I put all the frames in there, I used that to create the actual rails and the uh, amount of, of uh, conveyor belt components that I needed. But basically, you, you begin this in an assembly file, and, and if you've ever uh, never used a layout sketch before, when you begin an assembly, SolidWorks actually asks you to input uh, different components and things like that. But right here, it shows you a little button that says, uh, or you can top da, da, or design top down using a layout with blocks. Um, and I actually didn't use any blocks in this, and, and I'll, I'll show you how to create blocks later on in, a, in another video. But if I select this button right now, what it does is SolidWorks uh, puts this, uh, opens me up in a layout sketch. And it's just a sketch that I can use all my sketch entities and things like that. But if you notice, it places it on my front plane. And that would be fine if I was designing a machine or something like that. Um, but I, wanna, I want this layout sketch to be related to my top plane. And that would be representing the floor in my shop. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this right now. And if you notice on my feature manager tree, uh, there is a little icon up at the top there that shows that this, there is a layout that is involved in this sketch. I need to go ahead and close this and get rid of this. And I need to start over from scratch again. Start a new assembly. This time, rather than selecting the Create Layout button, I'm going to hit the red X. So right now I'm just in a blank, empty assembly file. And since I want my layout sketch to be on the top plane, I'm going to go ahead and select the top plane first, then come up to my uh, 
my menu tab and select insert and layout. Now I have a layout sketch in my assembly that's associated with the top plane and that's what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a normal two view and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to begin to sketch the path that my conveyor system might run through my shop and I I'm just gonna basically lay this out and, I, and again I'd, I'd already have some idea of this because I have a floor plan I know what my shop looks like and so forth so I, I would already have an idea of of how this is gonna go so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some dimensions on here and let's say I want that to go at, off at an angle like that and when you're designing uh, conveyor systems typically you're, you 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 need to have a good understanding of what your uh, minimum radius is and that's how they d decide uh, decide how to make those corners and things like that but we're not going to get into that right now so I'll just put some dimensions on here so basically I've defined my path now what I want to do is I'm going to put some other construction geometry in here to go ahead and locate where I would have a bench or, or so forth and basically you could at this point insert blocks into here so if you had some uh, solid models that you converted into blocks you could actually put those in here and those would be governed and I've used those in the past too but in this instance I, I really don't need a, a block to to relate that to I just want a point that's going to define the center point of my table so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more dimensions on here Okay, so basically I've, I've, I've gone and I've, I've designed the basic layout of my shop with a location of a table and some, uh, the path that my, uh, my, my conveyor system is going to go on. And I'm going to go ahead at this point and I'm going to insert a table. And what I want to do is I want to just associate that with the center point right now, or with the uh, the origin points. Um, but I need to, as you know, when you first insert a component into an assembly, it places it at and it fixes it into the assembly at the origin. And I need to float that because I want to make it uh, associated with a different part of my assembly or my layout sketch. And here, what I want to do is I'm going to take my the bottom of my feet and I'm going to put a mate to those actually I'm gonna make that coincident there and now I'm gonna take the planes the right plane in my frame or my uh, my table here and I'm going to control select the line in my uh, layout sketch and I'm going to add a mate to that and I'm going to do the same thing with the front plane and the end point of that so now basically the center of my table is attached to that okay so that's basically how you set up a layout sketch uh, you define your, your layout and, and how you want that. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to my my conveyor line system again. So basically, basically, if I just continued on with that, I would then place all my frames. And in this sketch, as you can see, I added sketch points that define the locations of those individual uh, conveyor supports. And then I also have sketch geometry just lines uh, that I use to associate my uh, my tables and my machines and other tables and in this instance I actually patterned that so I placed this table and then I made a pattern of that going out so there's there's a lot of different ways and flexibility flexibility that you have in doing this so now I'll go back over and here's my finished layout and if I select this right here, I can actually change and manipulate any of these items here. I'll go to 196, hit update. And because everything in my assembly is associated with this sketch, 
changes that are made, everything else is related to it, they all update just the way I would like to be according to my design intent of my shop. So that's using layout sketches, that's what we've talked about today in an assembly and I hope you found this uh, informative and helpful to you. If you, enjoy, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to Hawk Ridge Systems YouTube channel and thanks for watching.